Hey, my Florida Garden Escape channel. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. We are happy to have you. Now, today I got my basket, I got my cutters. We're going to be harvesting some cucumbers and some uh, tomatoes today. So, I'm super excited to take y'all along with me. We're even going to taste these guys, see how they're tasting, see how what, how our product produce is really growing and how tasty it really is. So we're going to get on all into that today. Now, if you are already a subscribed, we love you. You are amazing. If you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. And feel free to leave us a like and comment down below of anything you guys see or catches your eye or any questions or anything like that. But now let's go ahead and head out to the garden and let's get to going. All right, guys, now as you can see here, we are in our tomatoes. Now they have gotten big. I know it's really amazing to see how big they have gotten. We're going to go through here, see what is ready to be harvested, see how everything's doing, check everything out. Now I do want to also show you guys really quick um, the tomatoes that we propagated from the suckers that we cut off these guys right here. Now the ones that we cut off from here and put them in water, we let them sit in that water for about a week and then we planted the root, the stem and its root system back into the ground and this is how good they are doing. Um, this guy is actually ready for his fr first pruning, um, so we'll be doing that as well. Now I do want to add in here that we did add in some super sweet 100s. We, they have been in ground for about a week now. We started hardying up, really hardying them up and getting used to the outdoor climates. Um, a week prior we let them sit for about a week to two weeks with other climates staying around the same um, in our grow tent in our greenhouse to um, out here we really don't have to worry too much about the two week hardy and up process that some people do have to take but with our climate staying the same all throughout um, we don't have to worry about hardying up for two weeks now let's go ahead and walk through our um tomatoes here and let's check everything out uh look at these beef steaks they are gorgeous now see here you'll see these two it's like two are conjoined in one we see this at times um this is pretty much something called a mutation um you will see things like this especially i believe this one is too the same way um, but this is just something nature tends to do um, and it's not really uh, preventable now let's take a look here as you can see here these great tomatoes they're not your red color now y'all are probably saying selena these grape tomatoes just these grape tomatoes are not ready to be picked well i would actually have to tell you that you would be highly wrong because these are actually green grape tomatoes so you can easily pick them just like this and you'll feel the softness of them they have a great vibrant green and a vibrant yellow inside and they are very juicy and tasteful inside all right now as you guys can see here they are pretty soft and we'll, once we get these guys inside we'll wash them up a bit and then we'll do a test test over them as well we're going to move through here as you can see we got some pretty windy days um everything is just looking great nothing to harvest over here you really gotta look at these guys because they are sneaky to sneak they will hide their clusters everywhere like look at all of those clusters guys and just look over here you'll see this one isn't quite ready yet he's still pretty green here um, but he's starting to turn yellow, so he will be ready here soon. Now we're going to move along. That one isn't ready yet. Now as we move through here, we're going to move into more of some more grapes here. But then out of random, we do have this beefsteak here. Now, as you guys can see, they are turning that reddish color. They still have some green in them, but they are still going. Now, what we've done here is we've came out here and applied neem oil, but rains came and kind of washed it off. 
but we've had neem oil on our tomatoes to help them protect them from bugs so that way nothing gets into them now these guys are not quite ready to go now if they were super softer and they were still this color i would go ahead and pluck them um and then kind of let them ripen up on the counter now let's check over here those guys are good oh i see something it's like a jungle through here all right look at that guys look how yellow he is but he is not there yet as you can see he's still got some more yellow to turn now here guys um this is going to be another one of our varieties this is actually going to be one of our gi giant tomatoes now this is going to be the first of many that we're going to probably get to harvest this season um they're still really green they haven't started changing their color um with the lighter green you see here compared to this one it's definitely a darker green we should start seeing some color changing here as we did on our other ones over there now with this we will watch over these guys make sure they stay protected with our neems oil we are starting to make our own uh rosemary oil which is a substitute for the neems oil but that's still in the works currently what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to jump over to the cucumbers all right so now pruners we necessarily did not need um well not pruners cutters whatever you're using to harvest you technically don't need them you um on your uh tomato plants or your cucumbers because um they are really easy to harvest off now i'm gonna bring you over here to our um one number we have here now as you guys can see he's not very large but he is definitely a good size for me to use in my pickle recipe so i'm gonna go ahead and collect him and put him in our basket as well and then we're gonna kind of move along over here and as you see we have another good size one we'll go ahead and harvest this one this is going to be a garden sweet um cucumber that we have here and as you can see i just pushed it off with my finger and he's good to go now we're going to kind of move along here now as we get in here you can see here um this guy is definitely an odd shape i'm just going to go ahead and harvest him now I did want to go ahead and jump over to this other cucumber because we've done harvested enough off that one cucumber. Um, there's not really any more that are ready. But as you guys see here, he's still really young, but he's already pushed us off a nice and fat cucumber here. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest this guy as well. He's a great size for our pickle recipe. And then we come over here, you'll see another one here look at that guys great size looks great colors great let's pluck him too great all right now guys this is going to be something very special because this is our very very first one and we are actually going to need the cutters for this so i'm going to show you take a look at this beauty guys this is going to be our black table queen acorn squash now what i'm going to do she's already pretty hard so she's ready to harvest i'm going to go ahead and cut her right here that's about two to three inches from the stem of the uh acorn, the squash itself so i'm gonna cut it here and look at that guys let's take a look at it now check that out she's a dark green she's not a total black when they say black it's really a dark green but in the darker darker shady areas she definitely looks black compared to in the sunlight she mo looks more of a dark dark green which is really cool now one th thing they say with the acorn squashes is it's going to be really flat at the bottom so and that's one way you know but it only takes 80 days for a squash to fully mature. So at its 80 day mark, it'll be really hard. Um, some will have a flat end, some don't, but that's gonna be our first one of the harvest. Let's keep harvesting. Now I'm not gonna harvest these guys yet, but I do wanna go ahead and show you guys these bell peppers. They are growing big and boy, are they beautiful. I really do wanna harvest them. 
I'm so ready for them. Check this guy out. I almost forgot about this one. This one is definitely ready to harvest. He is already getting his flat spot. So we are actually going to go ahead and harvest this one too. Two to three inches from the produce itself. And there we are, another black acorn, well let me say that again, a black table queen acorn squash harvested. Just beautiful. Let's get everything inside and check everything out. Alright my Flower Garden Escape channel, so we are back inside now and we are here in the kitchen. We're just going to go ahead and get, I'm just going to go ahead and get everything out of my basket that we've harvested. And as I get everything out, I'm going to pull out additionally a few other things that I harvested that I did not get to record due to my phone uh, getting hot out there, along with it nearly dying on me. So along with all that you guys will get to see here in a minute, I'm going to show you what all we have here. Now, in addition to our uh, cucumbers and our black acorn squash, I also did harvest some mint from our garden. This will be wrapped up in our napkins as you probably seen in our previous video. Um, I'll put a link of it down in the description below. Um, but we're going to dry this out and we'll use this throughout our teas and things like that. Um, so that'll be a good beneficiary here. But now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our green grape tomatoes, at our cucumbers here, along with our uh, black table queen acorn squash. All right, now before anything, I do want to go ahead and just really quick cut into the sides and show you what their insides look like here. Let me just get a knife. So this is going to be our green grape tomato. Now, when we say green grape, it's due to that yellowness inside. But as you look, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm inside here. But as you look here, you can see the green inside. Now, these tomatoes, oh my God, they're heaven. They are so juicy. They're definitely flavorful in their flavor. You don't, you don't taste that normalcy that you normally do with your uh, tomatoes. But definitely, definitely on the plus side. Alright, now, I'm just going to show you guys really quick here. Um, these cucumbers, they're not going to look anything different here. Um, I would do a taste with these. But for pickling cucumbers, as I've said, guys, we are creating a pickle recipe with these. So stay tuned as we'll do a taste test over the pickle recipe we do with these. So moving on other than those two things right there, let's cut open the Black Table Queen acorn squash. Now I'm really nervous about this. I'm not sure how it's going to look. But let's go ahead and get into it. And we're just going to do a slice down the middle. You know what? Let me get a bigger knife. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, it's pretty solid there. Oh, yes. Awesome. Look at there. Look at those vibrance in there. That's going to be the inside of our Black Table qu table Queen Acorn Squash. Beautiful yellow. You see the seeds there. We'll collect those seeds and harvest them. But that's going to be the inside of our Table Queen Acorn Squash. Now, I would just go ahead and take a bite. But, I don't, I don't really like squash raw like this. Um, I prefer it to be cooked, um, and even then, sometimes I don't. It smells good. I'm going to have my old man try it and let you ha have him tell y'all what it tastes like. Um, I I'm sure if I eat it, 
I probably, I'll probably like it if I didn't. With our acorn squash, um, we'll kind of cut it up, cook it, you know, butter it up, and um, I'll keep the seeds from it. Won't cook those, um, but I'll cook it and see how my man, old man likes it. All right, my Florida Garden Escape. Well, I appreciate you guys coming along with my harvest. I am going to process our acorn squash here and get it ready to be cooked and until next time my florida garden escape channel do so